Want to go through the looking glass? Have a cup of tea with the Mad Hatter? Take a walk with Alice? And pet the white rabbit? Then watch our video! We are going through the looking glass right now! Oh! Somebody appeared in Alice's hands! It's the white rabbit! Or is it the March Hare? Whatever, it doesn't matter. The Mad Hatter was running so fast through all the traffic in Wonderland that his hairdo got kind of messy. He needs to fix his hair with a new styling product right now. Print out a spray paint label and attach it to a can of hairspray. Oh, Hatter, you must be losing your mind completely. He wants to paint his hair with spray paint. Why? His hair color is rich enough already. But it turns out that in Wonderland, hairspray is in spray paint containers. There you go. His mad hairstyle is done. The Mad Hatter is tired of jumping all over Wonderland. He needs to freshen up. Alice offers him an interesting book. What for? The Hatter can't drink letters. Ah, Hatter, this is a juice book. Take a cover off an old book. Cut a block of paper so that it is of the same size as a juice carton. Hot glue more pages to get a suitable width and hot glue the juice carton to the block of paper. Use a strip of paper to cover the side of the juice carton. Cut the cover. Hot glue it to the book. Cover the missing part of the spine with colored paper. Oh, now it all makes sense. I will quench my thirst with this juice book. The Hatter climbs up to the very top just like Humpty Dumpty. But now he can't reach the pizza that Alice brought. The Hatter is hungry and the pizza is so tempting. Shape light yellow clay into a pizza crust. Make imprints for salami slices with a round cutter. Make the surface between them look like melted cheese. Color the pizza with acrylic paints. Coat it with clear spray paint on top. Trace the pizza on a notebook. Cut it out, leaving the spiral fastening. Hot glue the pizza to the cover. The Hatter doesn't want to come down and Alice refuses to give him the pizza. At last, Alice decides to be kind to her friend, but all of his food dreams come crashing down. It turns out that the pizza is just a notebook. The Hatter wants to use the pizza notebook as soon as possible. Oh, it's a whole album. All I need is paint. No big deal, Alice knows how to make paints out of soda. Take a few empty soda cans. Dissolve different food colorings in water. Pick a suitable food coloring for every can. Pour the colored water into the cans using a funnel. Hot glue brushes onto cocktail straws and put them into the can so that the brushes are down. The Mad Hatter wants to drink some Fanta right away. Don't do it! You can only paint with this soda. And there are brushes hiding in these straws. But the art class doesn't last long. The Hatter turns the Fanta paint back into soda. It's practically telling him, drink me. Whatever you say, Hatter. Alice looks at a racket like it's a mirror. And the Hatter is catching up. Ha! Huh, he really is a Mad Hatter! It's not about admiring the racket, it's about looking into the mirror. Hot glue a mirror to a table tennis racket. And take EOS lip balms of suitable colors instead of tennis balls from a set. Alice is looking into a real mirror, and the Hatter is back at it again. He throws lip balms instead of moisturizing his lips with them. Wonderland has its own beauty rituals. An accident happened in the Wonderland. The Mad Hatter's hat is lost. What a disaster! Where is the most beautiful hat in Wonderland? Take a hat cut out made according to your measurements and trace it on felt. Cut it out. 
Make one more detail from fusible interfacing. Attach cardboard interfacing and felt together using a hot iron. Make a cut in the center. This is the brim. Cut an inside circle around the perimeter to attach the details together. Cover the cardboard side with felt. Bend the notches. Make the remaining pieces the same way. Hot glue the details. Sew lining fabric to make a sack. And hot glue it inside the hat. Tie the hat with a wide strip of satin fabric. Shape soft folds and fasten it with hot glue. Attach a big bead to a big sewing needle. Coat the decorative pin with gold and silver acrylic paint. Make a few pins like this. Draw a label with a price, 10 divided by 6. Decorate the hat with a peacock feather and pins. Stick the label underneath the satin ribbon. The hatter has already looked under every bush. His hat should be hiding in the kitchen. It's not under the cup. Where should I look for it? The hatter drowns his grief in a cup of strong tea, but Alice quickly cheers him up. Don't be sad, my friend. Your precious hat is found. The hatter is on top of the world because the mad hatter without his hat is like the white rabbit without its ears. There are more and more wonders in Wonderland. The Hatter decides to use his hat according to its purpose. He will be performing tricks. First, he takes a mysterious fruit out of the hat. That's not what I've been looking for. A toothbrush? I can't even imagine who it belongs to. Maybe to the Jabberwocky? Oh, finally! That's what I need, a sweet bowl. Melt white chocolate and dip a balloon in it so that half of it is covered. Spread the chocolate over the surface evenly and let it harden on foil. Let air out of the balloon and take it out when the chocolate is hard. Even out the edges of the chocolate bowl using a knife. Alice wants to put the mysterious fruit into the bowl. Ha! Huh, did you forget that everything is different this side of the looking glass? You can easily eat a bowl here. Alice is not used to eating dishes. That's bad manners. Forget about it. You should just eat it. Bite off a piece of sweet porcelain. Chocolate tastes good no matter where you are. Alice has a little present for the Hatter. This is a magic player. The Hatter is excited. Finally, he can listen to music. But it doesn't work that way because this MP3 player is made from soap. Print out an MP3 player screen and cut it out. Cover it with tape. Melt shavings of soap base in a microwave. Pour it into a silicone mold. Place the screen image and cover it with soap on top. Cut the soap so that it is of the same size as the player when it hardens. The Hatter wasn't expecting such an effect from this player. He is used to washing his hands once a month, so this player will last for a long time. The Hatter has a present too. What a cute cupcake! Cut a heart out of a yellow sponge. Put it into a silicone cupcake mold. Squeeze shaving foam on top of it and sprinkle it with glitter. Alice, don't eat this cupcake no matter what. It's not edible. Alice is walking and the Hatter is picking brushwood and herbs to make tea. But Alice suggests he stops carrying everything in his hands. The Hatter should use a shirt for it instead. Take an old shirt and glue its collar. Cut off the sleeves and hot glue the armholes. Hot glue the bottom of the shirt too and smooth it out. Fold the shirt in half and fasten it at the sides. Cut off the excess. Turn the bag you get right side out. Sew a chain handle. Decorate the buttons and the pocket with half beads. The Hatter is sure that his friend brought him a change of clothes, but he doesn't look good in checkered shirts at all. 
Ha! Mad Hatter! This shirt is not for you. It's for your herbs. Alice has brought Nutella to the Mad Tea Party. Perfect! The Hatter adores wafers with chocolate spread. Oh no! It's not chocolate spread at all! Pour brown liquid soap into an empty Nutella jar. Cut off the dispenser. Make a hole in the Nutella lid with a hot glue gun and hot glue the dispenser. Poor Hatter! Next thing you know, you will be hiccuping soap bubbles. Even the Mad Hatter doesn't like wafers with soap. Yuck! That's disgusting! It'd be better to just drink good old English tea. Did you like our adventures beyond the looking glass? Then write in the comments which magical thing you liked the most. And don't forget to give a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel and click the bell so that you don't miss new fairy tales on Troom Troom.